everyone, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a November favorites for you guys and I'm really really excited because I haven't done a favorites video in so long. I was talking to one of my um, co-workers that I work with, her name is Savannah, so hi Savannah, how's it going? I told her I would give her a shout out too, so hey! She was like asking me because she knows I do YouTube videos and she was wondering like if I was going to do November favorites and I was just like, you know, I wasn't even thinking about it because I haven't done a favorites video in so long and I was like, you know what? I might as well. Hey! <laughs> so today is my November favorites I have for you. I so I have 10 favorites to feature today in my favorites video. So if you want to know what they are, then just keep on watching. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I am trying to reach my 1,000 subscribers that I had on my other channel, so every subscriber counts. Every vote counts. <laughs> also, another thing that I haven't even like mentioned in a video and I like really am just so awful at advertising like anything, but I do have an Etsy shop with uh, chokers that I've made. So if you want to, you can go and check them out. These are just like a few of them that I have. Um, so I have birthstone ones that are really, really cute. Those ones are pretty popular. And then I also have ones like these, so this is like pretty cool, it has like the evil eye on it, it's like really boho, but I also have really glamorous ones too, like this one, and it has just like a really cute rhinestone right on it, it's really really pretty on, it's like, whew. so they're really super cute, they're really pretty on too, and especially where chokers are so popular right now, so don't forget to go and check that out, a link will be in the description box. My first favorite is the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasi Beverly Hills. This is probably like my favorite palette ever. I got this one and I got the Makeup by Mario palette within like the past few months and I just keep on going back to this one. It's just something about it. It's just so amazing and I absolutely adore it. Also, the brush in here is super fantastic as well. It comes with a fluffy side and then a shadow side. Absolutely amazing. Um, I keep on creating really awesome looks, at least I think they're awesome. <laughs> um, and I, have, I just, I'm obsessive and I love it so much and I just have nothing but great words. Next favorite is an oldie but a goodie because I used to have this way, way long ago. I haven't had it for about a year, a year or two years or something like that. I don't know um, when the last time I had this. Actually it was a year. It was actually last year around this time that I um, had it, and then I just decided to change it up and switch it up and do something else, but, oh, the Buxom Mascara. If you've been watching my videos for a really long time, or, I mean, like, if you're new here, hey, what's up, my name's Liz, um, but if you've been watching a really long time, then you know that I am obsessed with this stuff. <laughs> like, this is probably my, like, fourth or fifth bottle of this uh, mascara and it's just something about it I always come back for it and I love it so much love it love it also another thing that I've been loving is this Lancome uh, mascara base it's like a primer for your mascara and it helps um, enhance your lashes and stuff like that and it's just it comes out as like white and um, it is amazing like I never really used primer for my lashes because I thought, oh, I don't need it, whatever, <laughs> whatever, just brush it off. But I got this as my 100 point gift from Sephora and I am obsessed. My next favorite, keeping with the eyes, um, is the Maybelline Studio Gel Eyeliner. And I got this like, maybe like at the beginning of the year and I kind of like brushed it off a little because I was like, oh man, like... I'm applying this like some little kid that's coloring with like a crayon book, you know? Like it was just so bad. But then I, you know, I looked up some tutorials. I was trying to figure it out. I practiced a few times. Like one night I just like practiced like probably like 10 times on my face. And uh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Because um, I know like Jaclyn Hill loves this like so much that's the reason why I bought it because she was like raving about it in like every single video so I was like okay you know I might as well try it oh guys like oh my gosh I was using the liquid liner for a long time the one from NYC love that one too I think it's amazing but this if you want like a nice matte black look and not like a glossier look right here. so now on to the face I'm gonna first do a tool uh, I guess you could say, but it's the uh, Real Techniques sponge. 
absolutely I'm, I'm obsessed with this like I I had a sponge probably like oh my god it's like three years ago that I used like all the time and I forget what the name was called I don't know if it was from Sephora or if it was from CVS or like what but that brush was amazing I mean that sponge that sponge was amazing and I for the life of me could not remember what the name was and then I was like okay because it was cheap and I was like oh this is great you know and um I just I couldn't get myself to buy the beauty blender just yet and I was like because I'm, I'm like do I do I really like using a sponge for my makeup like I don't know oh Guys, I forgot how much I like this. Like, I literally forgot. And so I, I, I got the Real Techniques one. And I like this one because it has a flat side to it, as you can see, like, boom. And then it's a it's a dome on the other side. So this side, I usually... I probably just got powder on my face. I use this to put on my translucent powder. And then this I use to put on my uh, foundation and concealer. And it's... Oh, it just gives a nice flawless finish. And I use, um, I usually use like a, a, almost like a buffing brush to put my foundation on first and then I go back in with just like a little bit and dip it in and then, you know, apply like almost like a second layer <laughs> of, um, foundation and I am obsessed with it. Oh. So my next favorite is by Dior. Christian Dior, fancy fancy, I know. Um, so this foundation is absolutely amazing. I wanted to use a different foundation. I didn't know which one to use. Um, and then one of my uh, managers su suggested. Sir, suggested. Suggested. Ah. Do I just have the worst like pronunciation like ever? Yeah. It's the Dior Star Studio makeup. Um, uh, spectacular brightening weight loss. I did it again. Weightless, weightless perfection with sunscreen and it has SPF 30. Amazing. I'm in the color 031 and I, uh, I'm obsessed with this too. I love it so much. I don't have it on today. I have on my L'Oreal on today, but um, this, oh, if you want a nice like full coverage, mm, this is where it's at. Alright, so keeping on with foundation, I've been obsessed with this um, concealer. I love it so much. It's the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer and um, this color is in the color warm and I probably would even go like a shade lighter. I like using this for when I do like my like natural-esque makeup you know and I'm not like brightening my face or anything like that. I'm not trying to at least you know. Um, this is just a really nice color for my skin. It matches perfectly and I just think it gives a nice coverage. Um, I don't feel like I need to like touch up or anything during the day. And I'm just obsessed with it. Again, while I'm on with Kat Von D, I also got the translucent powder, the Locket translucent setting powder, and I love this stuff too. I know uh, this is like an up and down thing with people, and I'm so loyal to my Laura Mercier, <laughs> like I'm obsessed with that so much. But I've been trying out Kat Von D, and I actually I used it today. I don't think that it like I think it works great. Like I I don't know how else to describe it, but usually I won't use it for my whole face because I feel like it gives more of a brightening effect even though it is translucent um but I use it just for underneath my under eyes and it helps you know make sure that they aren't um creasing throughout the day so it's always good two more products that I want to mention one of them which is actually I'll do the primer first one of them is the um hourglass mineral veil primer and it's oil free the oil free one oh this stuff okay first of all Yes, I know. It is like 50 something bucks. Okay, and for a primer, that's a lot. But I stole this from my mom. She doesn't use primers, okay? Like, she didn't, she wasn't using it, so I was like, well, I'll use it. I need a primer for work, so hey. Because I wasn't using like anything at first, and I noticed my skin just like, just like, ugh, you know, for the day. Because I mean, I work like nine hours, and you know, I'm always on the floor, and I work retail, so like, I'm going around, whatever, helping out customers, and then all of a sudden I'll look at myself in the mirror, and I'm like, girl, what is going on with your face? Like, it, it's like, it's so bad that, like, I know, I knew I just needed something to use, and, well, then I found it, and I was really, really excited about it, and I tried it out, and I was like, hey, oh, my, this stuff will last you more than nine hours, okay? More than nine hours without your makeup looking cakey, without it looking, you know, gross and everything like that. Oh, 
It's just, oh, it's a godsend. Thank you so much. My last product that I want to mention that I am obsessed with, that I absolutely love, it's actually not this one, but it's this brand and it's downstairs. My purse, I just got lazy and didn't want to go and get it. Sorry, guys. It is the Sugar Lip Treatment from Fresh. Oh my gosh, guys. It's absolutely like, ugh. Like, how I can describe it is I used to use Vaseline before I went to bed because my lips are always so dry. And the, I mean, obviously, it's winter time. They're going to be dry, you know? I mean, can't help it. And, um,. It's a thing, yeah. So I always use Vaseline, and I mean, the Vaseline was like, okay, but then I got up and I was, my lips were still dry, and I was like, what is going on with this? Like, the Vaseline, like, they have the little, like, minis, the cute little minis, was drying out my lips at night, and I was just, like, so baffled by it. I was like, oh, come on. Like, this needs something, because I didn't want my lipstick to look all, like, messy and gross th throughout the day, um, especially where, like, I'll, I'll put on, like, a red lip or something like that, and then I'll have, like, all those, you know, like, little chap pieces of lip, and I'm like... <sighs> Oh my gosh, I don't know why I didn't like go back to this because I know I got this as a birthday present, a birthday present from Sephora, um, about like two years ago, I think it was two years ago that this was the present. Um, it came with um, a clear and then it came with rose, I believe. And I really loved both of them and I would use it all the time, like this one's like practically gone, like this is how much I have left of it, nothing, like literally it's gone. Um, but I got the advanced lip therapy one I believe it's called and that one mm, guys never going back to anything but that for lip balm ever because it seriously just makes your lips just so smooth it makes it so luscious and it makes your lipstick go on perfectly whether it's liquid or matte oh wait that's the same thing whether it's liquid or regular lipstick or gloss you know so yeah anyway that's that's about it all right, so those are all my favorites for the month of November. I and this was like such a quick month, like I can't even believe it. Like I can't believe it's already December. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. There'll be like a little like a uh, little person over here. Actually, it's my face in a bubble, and you can click on that. You can subscribe right there and then. It's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.